Chapter Fourth by Adam Hargreaves. Come along, Sarah, cried the doctor. The doctor and Sarah Jane were running away. It seemed to Sarah Jane that the two of them spent an awful lot of their time running, and mainly running away. What were they running away from this time? They were running away. From the Daleks. Seek, locate, exterminate. Grated the Daleks in their metallic voices. Daleks don't run, but they do chase. The Daleks were a terrible alien race intent on just one thing: to destroy, to exterminate, to exterminate. Everything. Although some Daleks were rather better at exterminating than others, like Number Z four o three, better known to his friends as Dale. Dale the Dalek's energy ray was not so convincing. What are we going to do? Puffed Sarah Jane. That simple, cried the Doctor. Keep running and don't get exterminated. Which it had to be said made perfect sense. If we can get to the TARDIS, then we can lead the Daleks away from this planet," said the Doctor, skidding around a corner into an alleyway. "Doctor, that's a dead end," warned Sarah Jane. "What are we going to do?" "Climb the ladder, of course," said the Doctor. And to Sarah Jane's surprise, there was indeed a ladder. But how did you know? Began Sarah Jane. Keep up, Sarah," said the doctor, clambering over the wall. And don't forget to pull the ladder up behind you and bring it with you. The wall stopped the Daleks, but not for long. The Daleks did not need a ladder. In fact, the Daleks don't climb ladders. Daleks have energy rays, and in a matter of moments they had exterminated the wall. Sarah Jane and the Doctor came to a wide river. There was a drawbridge, but the control lever was on the other side. Would you like a jelly, baby? Asked the Doctor. I don't think this is the moment to be handing out jelly babies. She cried in exasperation. Not you," said the doctor. "That pigeon." Sure enough, one of the pigeons did want a jelly baby. As it took off, it knocked the drawbridge lever, and the doctor and Sarah Jane were able to safely cross the river. With the drawbridge raised once again, they had escaped one lot of Daleks. Daleks don't swim. And they don't like jelly babies. In fact, the list of things that Daleks can't do is long, but not as long as the list of things that Daleks don't like. They don't like kittens. They don't like flowers. They don't like ice cream, and they definitely don't like tennis. There's only one thing Daleks like. And that is exterminating things. But the doctor and Sarah Jane were now faced with more Daleks blocking the road ahead. Now, where has it gone? Said the doctor. Where has what gone? Asked Sarah Jane. Really, Sarah, you must keep up. Ah, there it is. Sarah Jane was becoming more puzzled by the minute as they climbed onto the bicycle that the doctor had been looking for. Pedal faster! cried the doctor as they weaved between the Daleks standing in the road, avoiding the energy rays. There was only one Dalek close enough to stop them. Luckily, it was Dale. Once they had avoided the Daleks, they came to another road, a very busy road. 
Fortunately, there was a stop sign that held back the traffic, and the doctor and Sarah Jane pedalled across. But there was nothing to stop the Daleks from doing the same. Or was there? Beside the stop sign was a bucket of paint and a brush. Well, that's lucky, cried Sarah Jane, grabbing the brush and painting over the stop sign. Luck, said the doctor. It's nothing to do with luck. It's called good planning. Don't forget the paint bucket. Now that the traffic was no longer held back by the stop sign, the cars roared off. And by the time the Daleks reached the road, it was too busy to cross. Finally, they reached the TARDIS. Why on earth did you make us bring all this stuff along with us? Sarah Jane asked. Well, there is a perfectly obvious reason. If we did not bring these things along, then how would we be able to go back and leave them for us to find later? The doctor replied. Well, that's about as clear as mud, cried Sarah Jane. I do have a time machine and I am a time lord, so I can go back in time and practice. As we all know, practice makes perfect and I never travel anywhere without a jelly baby. Thank you.